My name is Krenika Drake, and I'm an Educational Technology Specialist within the Department of Instructional Technology. Have you checked out the resource whiteboard.chat? This is a great tool that allows your students to draw, share, and collaborate, and keeps things in control for you as a teacher. You're able to teach, monitor, and coach your students on their individual boards. Students are able to utilize this tool utilizing laptops, Chromebooks, iPads, or even cell phones. It is free to use and you can connect up to 100 people to a board. When you initially come to the website whiteboard.chat, click on the start drawing button. You'll see where you're able to start teaching which allows each student to have their own individual board, start collaborating where you're all working together, or you can manage your boards and see past viewed boards. Let's go ahead and click on start teaching. When I click on start teaching, I see that I have a blank canvas. There are so many possibilities with this canvas. On the left-hand side, you will see tools. If you hover over them, you'll see what each one does. I'm going to upload a file. You can upload a PDF and your students can annotate directly on that PDF. I'm going to give them a math worksheet. And you'll see on the right hand side, they have space to utilize the writing tool to solve the problem. Across the top, you're going to see an art palette that gives you some additional options. The art palette gives you manipulatives for math, ELA, science, as well as social studies. You can also search for options and objects that you can add to your toolbar. Once you've created your board for your students, on the top right-hand corner, you'll see an invite button. This is where you can either give your students a QR code or give them the URL. So you can copy this URL either into your Google Classroom or into your Microsoft Teams. Once your students have accessed your whiteboard chat, you're able to see all of the students that are in. If I would like to see what each student is doing, down at the bottom, there is a button called Grid View. If I click on Grid View, I'm able to see each student's work. If I would like to join their work, I can click on their tile and go to join. If I see the student is not where I need them to be, I can guide them to the slide that I want them to be in. If I see the student needs some additional assistance with their problems, I can give manipulatives directly to that student that will assist them with their work. Once I'm finished working with this student on the student board, I'll go back to the instructor board. And this is where I can continue my lesson. There's so many different options and ideas within whiteboard.chat. Be sure to check out their website every Thursday for a free webinar covering some additional features in Whiteboard. Mm -hmm.